Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we're going to be doing some probability questions where you're reaching into a bag and seeing what are the likelihood of you actually getting the result you need. All right, so we've got two of them. We got the first one we're going to be dealing with marbles, and the next one we're going to deal with is coins. Okay, so the marble question we got four red marbles and six blue in a bag. After you have drawn three marbles, that's always more annoying when you have to take more than one out, what are the chances that you'll have two red and one blue? All right, so let's do that. In order to do this problem, you have to first recognize that there is a difference in order of events. It's not just what is the likelihood of you getting two red marbles and then a blue one in that order. It can be in any order. So that means that you could get a red, then you could get a blue, and then you could get a red, or you could get a red and a red and a blue like it says in the problem. Or you could get a blue followed by a red followed by a red. And let's make sure I didn't miss any. Are there any other possibilities there that I didn't miss? All right, so we got red, red, blue, red, blue, red, and blue, red, red. I think that's all of them. If I did miss any, I apologize. But you got to go through all those possibilities. Now, because... Each of these is the same kind of like scenario. They will all end up being the same thing, which does kind of allow you to do a trick at the end if you wanted to. So what are the chances of it being a, a red in the beginning? We got four red out of 10 total marbles. And then a blue, well, you don't have um, 10 marbles anymore, but we still have six blue marbles. So that'd be six out of nine marbles. And then getting a red again, well, we don't have four reds anymore because we removed one of them. So you'd have three out of eight. And if you multiply those three numbers together, I do recommend never simplifying the fraction at first. Doing 10 times 9 times 8 in your calculator, not using the fraction button makes it a little bit easier. So 10 times 9 times 8 ends up being 720. And then if you do 4 times 6 times 3, you end up with 72. Okay, which you could simplify from this stage if you want to, but I still don't recommend it because you never know what's going to happen after that. Now, if we did red, then red, then blue, that would be four out of 10. And then another red would be three out of nine because you've removed one. And then a blue would be six out of eight. Now, here's a beautiful fact. Notice how the top numbers are still the same, four and three and six, four and three and six, and the bottom numbers are still the same. So you're still going to get... The exact same fraction, 72 out of 720. If you use your thinker, which you should be, you'd realize those are going to be the same. And then if we did it again, it's going to equal the same thing again. You got 6 out of 10 blues, then you got 4 out of 9 reds, and then you got 3 out of 8 uh, reds again, and you still get 72 out of 720 because they were all the same scenario, red, two reds, and one blue. Add them together. If we add those three things together, you end up with times three. You end up with 216 out of 720, which you could simplify if you want to. I would recommend it. You could also divide and get the decimal answer, which in this case is 0.3, or you could write the percent, which is 30% then. All right. Whew, get the camera back in order. All right. Next one, this one's going to be easier and harder all at the same time, you got coins. If you have coins going on, then you have to be a little more careful because each of the probabilities could be a little bit different. So in this case, I want it to equal 35 cents or less. Okay. And I'm taking two coins out, so that's a little bit nicer. We got five quarters, three dimes, and two nickels. So five quarters, three dimes, two nickels, five plus three is eight, plus two is still out of 10. All right, so there's 10 total. I'm going to write that so I don't forget it. 10 total. Well, you can't see it. Back up a little bit. There we go. So what are the ways we can get 35 cents or less? There's, there's a lot of ways we can get 35 cents or less. You could do a, uh, a nickel and a dime, but you could also then do a dime and a nickel. Both of those would be the same, but they would give you equally likely. So that would be a scenario where you'd have to get both of them add them together. But you could also do a, a, a dime and a dime, which would be a very unique scenario, or a nickel and a nickel. Or you could do a quarter and a dime, 
or a dime and a quarter. And that's a lot of different things, and I don't even know if we've came up with them. We didn't even factor in the fact that you could have pennies in your pocket, which we don't. But the easier way to do this one, in fact, is to actually think, well, what is the only way I can't have 35 cents or less? And the only way you can't do that would be to have a quarter and a quarter. And sometimes figuring out what you can't do is a whole lot easier than doing all of the things you could do, which you could do. You could do all of the probabilities here, list them out, add them all together after multiplying them. But a quarter and a quarter is the only way you can't do it. So what are the chances that you get a quarter and then a quarter? Well, you got five quarters out of 10, and then getting another quarter would be four quarters out of nine. And if you multiply that together, you get 20 out of 90 chance. Okay. So there's a 20 out of 90 chance of it not happening. Well, if there's a 20 out of 90, 90 chance of it not happening, there is a 70 out of 90 chance of it happening. Which you didn't have to subtract from the fraction stage. You could divide 20 by 90 and get that as being 0.22 repeat, technically. So if it's that, there's a 22% chance rounding that it would ha wouldn't would happen, which means that if you subtract from 100, you would have a 78% chance of it actually happening. And it turns out when you divide 70 by 90, you do in fact get a 78% chance. You get a 77.7 .7 rounding up, okay? So that's how you deal with those. And we wanted the chance of it happening, so that's the ones that I've boxed, not the ones that I haven't boxed. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, everybody stay positive, and I will see y'all later. Bye.